we are going to be looking at how to make a map layout with ArcGIS Pro. So when you log in and fire up the application, it should look really similar to this with the default layout. I've already logged in, so I can see my username up here, which means I'm also connected to this ArcGIS Online instance, so I can pull down all the maps and data and information I've created up there. So to navigate to any data I've saved or stored up in ArcGIS Online, I can go to this catalog pane and click portal. And then this will pull up any folders or maps or data that I have saved up in ArcGIS Online. And if I accidentally delete this or remove this catalog pane, it's easy to get back to that. I can go here, view, and hit catalog pane, and that will reappear. So again, not on project, this is all local information, but I wanna be here on portal, because this will connect to the RIT instance that I'm logged into. And here I can see I'm selecting my content. You also have the option to go to favorites, groups, the organization, which would be content across RIT, ArcGIS Online, or the Living Atlas. But for this, we just want to pull in a map that I have already created um, up in ArcGIS Online, and we want to make a map layout for it. So down here, I have my map I've already created called New Orleans Poverty and Flooding. I'm going to right click that and hit Add and Open. So all that's happening now is this map is getting downloaded or just loaded up from the online resource. So none of this data or information is local on my computer. It's literally just referencing all of the data from ArcGIS Online. You can see here, just as we needed to do in our lab, I've modified all of the symbology for some of the default data. So I'm seeing the flooding hazard data, and I'm also seeing those circles for the ACS or the poverty information but it's not represented like this. My symbology is a little bit different. So now that I have this map loaded up, how do I go and create a layout? So up here under insert, I then have the ability to go and create a new layout. If I click that drop down, you can go ahead and select a number of kind of predefined sizes for the layout. For this, you can choose whatever size you want. I would recommend starting with just something simple. And again, most of these are set up to be you know, ready for print or screen production. These are a lot of standard sizes that would be ready for either plotters to be able to print out as large posters or just ready for just kind of standard sizes for a printer. So let's click letter just to make it eight and a half by 11 style map. And now I have this new tab that is opened up here called layout. So if I go back to this catalog and hit project, and I do this drop down layouts, you can see layout is showing up here. I could create multiple layouts and they would all start showing up in this local kind of project file so I could kind of sort them and have multiple different layouts for this one map project. So now how do we get started on our New Orleans poverty and flooding map inside of this layout? All I need to do is select up here under the map frame to go and select my map and I can then pull this into the project. Since I have another map tab open called map, I could select that, or I could just pick the New Orleans one. So I'm gonna select that. After I click, I now have to drag and draw inside of the map document or inside of that layout to then drop it down. And so now what's happening is the map is dynamically drawing, pretty much referencing this exact map but getting it set up for this layout. And now I can drag, I can move this around, and instead of modifying the actual map, we're modifying the layout. So this might be a little confusing. If I click on here and I think I wanna interact with this map, I'm not gonna be able to. All I'm doing is adding elements and interacting with the layout itself. If you want to modify the map in here, you can either go here and modify the map there to change symbology, etc., or you can come back here. I can right click and I can do something called activate. 
Activate lets me now interact with the actual map. So you'll see as I pan on the map and maybe zoom in a little bit, I'm now interacting with the map and not the layout. So maybe I wanna focus my map and the subject of this is kind of the main metro area of New Orleans. So now that I've kind of finished interacting with that map, I can hit this X to get out of the activation. And now I have the ability to go ahead and add some additional map elements. So what is this map trying to show? This map is trying to show the relationship between flooding and poverty. So you can see my larger circles there um, representing areas that are higher kind of levels of poverty and the areas in blue are the areas in New Orleans that can flood. So what I want to start doing now is pulling in different elements to then add into my map and right up here on the top there's a number of different things you can start dragging and pulling into the map and all of these have drop downs. So maybe I want to add a north arrow to help my readers understand where specifically north is in this map. And just as with when I was entering the map frame, I select that and then I drag and drop on the map where I want that to be placed. Maybe we want to add a legend. So let me select that. I'll do the same thing. Drag and place that on the map. And for any of these elements, please go in and modify them if they do not look good or they don't make sense. So here I can see this legend is kind of ugly and not really doing a great job. So I could actually come in here and modify this, um, come into the properties and change how this looks, change what kind of elements are included in it, or I could just delete this whole legend and enter in specific text to just describe what is going on in the map. If dynamically it's not generating very well. Let me get rid of that. And now let's go ahead and add in just some text so I can have the title. You can see here there are all these different options for including either pictures or text or arrows. So here I wanna put some text in and I'm dragging and dropping and I'm gonna say this is the relationship between flooding and poverty. And I just selected that text or I could just double click on this box. And now I can have options to be able to change that text, you know, similar as you would in Word. So let's highlight that, you know, general properties for it. I just click text symbol and I want the size of that font to be a bit bigger. So I'm gonna say 28, hit apply, and I can now move this, position it. And this relationship between pov flooding and poverty in New Orleans Louisiana. So there is a lot more I can add to this. I can add a scale. I can add other dynamic text. Here this would be maybe the units of the map or credits or a description or metadata. All of these different other elements, do I need them? Do I not? It all depends on the purpose of this map, who the audience is for, and what who is going to be using this map. So hopefully that got you a good start on what you can do to include inside of your map layout. There are a lot of different options, but the main thing is you can get to your map that you have saved in ArcGIS Online by going to that catalog pane, going to portal, and then grabbing your map and importing it. Then to generate a layout, you go up to insert, new layout, then you can add your map to it and start pulling in different elements. This one is very ugly. Please do not make something as poor of a representation as this. Spend a little bit more time thinking about what the purpose of your map is 
and what kind of information needs to be on this sheet to be able to make it clear what this map's goal is for the audience. That's all. I hope that helped.